Hello guys and welcome to another video, this is Liakura's Moments and today we're gonna talk about Xiaomi Mi Box S which is a smart box for your TV and we're gonna talk about the top 5 apps that you should install to maximize its potential. In the previous video we unboxed it and we made a full review so if you wanna see that video it's gonna be in the description below so you can find it easy. So as it seems it was one of the best options to purchase and I'm very happy from its performance and I'm using it mostly with YouTube and Netflix. So let's see beyond that famous apps like Netflix and Amazon Prime to see what the best apps out there that you can get from Google Play and also for free. The first thing that you'll notice when using the Mi Box S is that you cannot access your flash drive. No matter where you go to the settings, there is nowhere an option to see your files. There is a notification popping up to tap to set up your USB drive and when you click browse after, there is no way to see inside. You can just eject or set up as device storage. So the first application that most users will appreciate and if you want to watch movies from the flash drive sometimes it's a necessary app, it's the VLC player. To find it you go to Google Play, type VLC player and install it. Once installed, allow access to your files, put the pen drive back and it will ask you to use it to your media library. Click yes and now with VLC player you can play your movies, listen to your music and watch your photos that you have on your pendrive. Second application that is a step forward from VLC player is the FX File Explorer. FX File Explorer is a file management app. It allows you to copy, move, delete and manage files and folders on your device. With this application you can access the USB flash drive, see your files, play your movies, listen to your music and watch photos like we did in the VLC player, plus you can open files like Excel and World. You can also share files directly between two devices that run an FX application. You can connect to networked computers or cloud storage services and transfer your files to and from the device. At the end is a very good management app necessary to every user. Third application that many users will find it interesting is the A Power Mirror. This application will allow you to mirror your Android phone screen to your TV with the Mi Box S. And not only apps like Netflix or YouTube that you can do anyway with Chromecast. This is mirroring so you will see on the TV exactly what you see on your phone. To download it, go to Google Play Store and type A Power Mirror. Click install and do the same from your phone that you want to mirror. So download and install it on your phone as well. And this you can do it from any Android phone, tablet or PC. When you open the application, allow access and click to phone screen mirroring or you can even scan the barcode. In order for this to work, your phone and the Mi Box S have to be connected in the same Wi-Fi network. Click allow and tap to mirror. And here it is. Every move you make on the phone is mirroring on the TV. Let's go to the next application which is the ATV Launcher. Very good application if you wanna put side loaded apps. Google Play Store put some restrictions on what apps you can see and download. So with ATV Launcher you'll be able to see those apps when you install them. To find the app you go again to Play Store, you type ATV Launcher and you install it. If you want more information on how to install side loaded apps, let me know in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel so I can make that video. And last but not least we have a very nice application especially for our gamers friends and it is Steam Link. With Steam Link you can play games from your Steam account on your TV with the Mi Box S. Download the app from Google Play and of course you will need to have the app installed on your PC as well. Connect both devices, the PC and the Mi Box S to the same Wi-Fi, connect the controller via Bluetooth to your Mi Box S, pair the PC with the Mi Box and you're set to play your Steam games on your TV. The only down is that there is a lag from the controller so the games that you will need fast response will be actually very hard to play. I try out to connect my Xbox controller with a wireless adapter instead of the Bluetooth but Mi Box actually couldn't even read it. So it is what it is and it will be okay with simple games. And there you go, you have 5 cool applications to use on your Mi Box. Let me know which one you like and if you have another application worth mentioning, you can write it down in the comment section below so we can all check it out. 
On the next video, I'm gonna make five top games that you can play on your Mi Box. So make sure to like and subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.